Today we'll be taking you on board Far From It, a Richmond 142 Tri-Deck motor yacht. Constructed at the Sovereign Shipyard in Richmond, Vancouver, she has six elegant staterooms, each with private bath, several entertainment and dining areas, and a great selection of water toys. She's powered by Caterpillar C32s, giving her a cruise speed of 12 knots. Her length overall is 142 feet, the beam is 28 feet, and she only draws just over seven feet of water. Let's begin the walkthrough at the stern. There's a large teak swim platform here with a ladder that attaches in the center. You can find the engine access here and curved staircases that connect to the aft deck. The covered aft deck has a wet bar at the stern and a big seating area with a high-low table. Let's continue up from here onto the bridge deck aft. In the aft section, we have a seating area that would be perfect for a morning coffee or reading a book. Forward to the starboard side are a couple chairs for when you're ready to get back into the shade under the hardtop. Also under the hardtop in the center is a custom teak dining table that accommodates 10 guests. You can also find a wet bar and grill on this deck. Let's continue up now to the sun deck. Your water toys are stored on the aft section of the flybridge. There's a 5.7 meter rib and two jet skis. When the toys are in the water, this area becomes a great sun lounging space. Continuing forward in the center, we have a 60 jet hot tub and a 50 inch flat screen. There are also flat screens on the aft deck and bridge deck aft. We'll pass the air conditioned day head before coming to a half moon shaped bar with four bar stools, fridge, and ice maker. Forward, you'll find dining areas to either side and a large sunbed in the center. Let's make our way now into the interior. The salon is superbly detailed with mahogany joinery and molding. The seating area includes two custom sofas, two armchairs, and a 52 inch flat screen TV. The main deck offers great flow from the salon into the main dining area. This is a more formal space and a more intimate feeling. Just like the bridge deck aft, you have seating for 10. You have storage for all cutlery and glassware just behind. Continuing forward on the starboard side, we arrive in a foyer with a tall sub-zero wine cooler. Again moving forward, we'll pass the day head before entering the on-deck master suite. On the starboard side, you have an office desk, and across from here is an immense amount of storage with refrigerator drawers for your refreshments. Further forward is your centerline king bed. There's a lounge to starboard, and to the port side is a vanity. The master heads are forward, his to starboard with a dual head steam shower, and hers to port with a jacuzzi tub and bidet. Let's move out of the master, head back to that foyer, and move down to the other guest staterooms. Descending the stairwell to the lower foyer, there's access to four large guest staterooms. The lower foyer has a refreshment bar with sub-zero fridge drawers, granite counter, and sink. Let's explore the forward staterooms first. To starboard is a twin bed setup. Your ensuite is outboard with stall shower. Across from here to the port side is a queen stateroom. And again, the ensuite is outboard with a stall shower. The two aft staterooms are mirror images. Both are queen staterooms, and the ensuites each have shower tub combos. We'll head back up to the main deck now. If we move forward from the main dining area, we'll enter the galley. All appliances in the galley are stainless steel units including two large side-by-side -side sub zero refrigerators, steamer oven, dishwashers, two drawer freezers, and two wall ovens. To keep the chef happy, a complete entertainment system is provided, and there's a banquette for up to five people if you feel like joining the chef in the galley. Access to the crew quarters can be found here in the galley and through a hidden door on the lower deck. An interesting fact about Far From It is that she's the fifth hole in the series, which simply means that she was the fifth 142 tri-deck that the Richmond shipyard built. One of the changes made was to make the pilot house windows upright rather than sloped. 
This extended the flybridge by roughly four feet six inches, but it also gave you additional room in your sixth stateroom, located just after the pilot house on the port side, but we'll come back to this room. The Sky Lounge is huge and features a large white fabric pit sofa and two matching lounge chairs across from a cocktail table. There's also a card table which complements the granite bar to starboard with four matching bar stools. If we move forward from the Sky Lounge, we have another day head making a total of nine guest heads if you include the two that are in the master. On the port side is the sixth stateroom, an extremely private VIP with awesome views and again a big on suite just aft. The spacious pilot house features a leather set tee with mahogany inlaid table so you can enjoy the view without disturbing the captain. Here you also have a stid chair and state-of-the-art Simrad electronics. That concludes our walkthrough of Far From It, the Richmond 142 Tri-Deck Motor Yacht. If you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a private showing, contact our super yacht broker, Kurt Bossart.